Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. First off, let's give honor where honor is due. God came through for me. I pray before every video, y'all, because I want to be better. I want to be effective. I want to be good at what I do. And y'all, <laughs> he looked out. So this unit, listen to me. My first wigs is stepping it up. They now have an elastic band that's attached and it has the bra strap type construction. Y'all, this is a yakky straight bob. And when I tell y'all, it had me all the way in my feelings. It looks so good right out of the package. Y'all, this parting space is ridiculous. So it's a full lace. So they have two different options for this particular unit. You can get it in a lace front or you can get a full lace. And the full lace, listen to me, you get six inches of parting in the front and you also can part anywhere in the back. And I'm gonna show y'all that later. But y'all, I wanted to show you all side part, middle part. I'm gonna be doing a middle part for this one. The hairline comes pre-plucked. I am gonna do a little something something to customize it a little more, but you don't have to do that. Look at the back, y'all. So this unit is really good for those who want to part anywhere. If you want to do a ton of different hairstyles, you can do that. I generally don't, but you do have that option. So I'm tweezing the hairline. And because they got me off to a really good start already, I didn't have to do much. And this hair, because of the lace and just the texture and everything, it was very easy to tweeze. The hair came out so quickly it was not tedious at all and again i did not have to do very much all right so now that we've completed that process i do want to show you all the inside construction it does also come with two combs on the side and one comb at the bottom and there's an adjustable strap and because of the elastic band that's attached guys you don't have to actually melt it down and do all that i'm going to show you but you know we got to be a little extra and again i told you all in my last video that the airburst spray i've switched it up shout out to michelle h and there was another one that i cannot find her name but you all suggested that i do a lighter color i think what kind of messed me up is when i got darker last summer during our honeymoon trip Y'all, I was using Deep Glow at that time. And so now that I'm back to my normal skin complexion, you all are right. I do need to do a lighter color. So I've been doing that one and I've been loving it. So I'm trying the unit on to make sure it fits. I did get a size medium and the medium fits me so, so perfectly. Now what I like to do before actually installing the unit is to position it on my head and kind of assess what I need to actually do. Now I'm going to be honest, I wouldn't advise that you do this every day. Um, this is not one of those everyday type installs. Y'all, you can leave it on for probably like three to five days if you are really um, maintaining it well if you're wrapping it at night if you're also making sure you have a scarf along the hairline that's a good idea but don't be trying to do all this every day don't wear yourself out this is for like special occasions type deal or if you just want to slay every day girl go for it but I decided for this particular install to do the ball cap method because as you all can see it was peeking through and I'm not doing a glueless like in my last video so I wanted to make sure it looks super super natural and to show you guys how to get the best results so I am pressing the hair out first and I decided to go ahead and prep the unit and I've told you all that the best way to get the most natural realistic install and just the most effective way to do that is to prep your unit beforehand. I found that when I actually wait to do everything after it's already installed, it just kind of prolongs the process and I'm not able to get the best results. And y'all, once again, because this unit is the yakky texture, when you press it out, it looks like an African American. It looks like black silk press type hair. And I just, I'm here for it. So now I'm going to take my Blow Pro No Crunch Mousse and I want to lay the hair down and make sure it has a bit of shine and just like to give it some added sauce, if you know what I mean. Using a good mousse is also going to help you to be able to mold the hair and cause it to flow in the direction that you want it to be. So I'm doing this while it's on my head. You can do this on your mannequin head, but I decided to do it otherwise. Now, after you've completed this process, I am going to go in with the hot comb, but before I do that, I want to dry it because I don't want added steam and, you know, doing a whole lot to the hair while it's still kind of damp. It's not wet, but it's damp. So I'm currently drying it, and this is also going to help to make sure that it's laid. If you'd like to opt to just do this, then that would be a good move, but I decided to take it a step further and use the hot comb. Now, this hot comb I got from my beauty supply store, and I love it because it has a little kickstand. I don't even know if that's what it's called, but... Um, I had a different one and in the past when I was using that one because it didn't have that little stand that props the, the um, hot comb up then it was kind of burning things around my area and it's hard to kind of manage that so it's better with this little stand and it was probably like 
around $20. So go in your beauty supply store. I'm sure they have these. And this is really going to help to give you that grown out of your scalp, fresh perm, or rather a fresh relaxer type look. Y'all know those days when your hair was really, really fresh. I was that girl that wanted my hair really bone straight. So y'all, I was getting the super relaxers. But don't judge me. Some of y'all did it too. That's neither here nor there. But we've stepped it up. We don't have to put all that heat on our hair. We can do it on a wig and get the same look without the damage and still look fly. So now we're going to begin the ball cap method. Now before you actually begin this method, you want to make sure that your hair is nice and sleek and it's pushed back and you don't have your edges or anything peeking through the cap. After you slicked it down with the gel, I use the got to be glue in the black bottle, but you can use whatever you feel necessary. You can begin to move your stocking cap forward and you want to make sure your edges are completely covered. And you also may want to take your earrings off because it was just getting in my way. So I went ahead and took those off and now using the got to be glue free spray, we're going to go in and we're going to spray that along the entire front parameter to secure the stocking cap down. After I've completed this process, I'm gonna use my blow dryer on hot. So this one, you're not gonna use the cool setting. For this particular part of the process, you're gonna use heat to dry it. In the past, I used to allow it to air dry, and y'all, that took forever, so that helps to speed up the process. So now you're gonna take some scissors, and you're gonna poke a hole through where your ears are, and you're gonna cause this stocking cap to kind of wrap around your ears, and this is gonna cause it to be fitted and close enough in the area where your um, sideburns are so that actually hugs that area. Shout out to Glamazante for that tip. So after we've gone in and we dried the area and you feel like it's hot and it's ready, then you can begin to cut the stocking cap. Hey. 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 Oh, girl. I wish you would make up your mind can tell by the look in your eyes you're not happy with the man you're standing by yeah i've been watching you and him and him and her with his wandering eyes he's not worth your time so come to me i got what you need just know I'll make you my only one, girl. Now that we've cut off the lace, we're going to clean everything up, refine it a bit, and then we're going to begin to install. Now when you install your unit, you want to make sure that you line it up before ever securing it down. You want to make sure everything's positioned appropriately because once you add the got to be glue or whatever adhesive you choose, because once you actually secure it down, it's going to be so much more difficult in order to have a really nice meltdown and also to make the process so much um, less strenuous, just position it appropriately and everything will flow so much better. I'll hold you close, never let go. I'll be your friend, do all I can. I whisper, I love you. I'll hold your hand. I'll take care of you. After drying the got to be glue on the cool setting, now that it's tacky, we can begin to move it forward. Again, pay attention to the positioning of the unit before actually moving it forward. And I like to do one side at a time. So I generally start on the right side and then I work my way over to the left. I'll make you smile. my path yeah i can give you that good love and that will last so place the other mister in your past yeah you know it's true that you're worth more than you ever see oh baby please just come to me i got what you need just go
All right, y'all, now it's time for the big reveal, and I knew it was going to look killer. After you've taken off the satin scarf, then you can actually comb to mold the front the way that you desire because it is going to be a little stiff, but it's not going to be hard because the Sebastian Shaper Holding Spray adds just enough hold without it being super hard. So we're just going to comb it out. I'm going to let you guys enjoy the magic. <laughs> I promise you, baby, that I won't waste your time. Make sure you say, make sure you satisfy the You are a true, you are one of a guy And I ain't leaving until you are mine I'll hold you close, never let go I'll be your friend, do all I can I whisper I love you, I'll hold your hand I'll take that's the end of this tutorial i hope that you all thoroughly enjoyed it y'all this unit is so bomb be sure to check the description box for the link and all the details i look forward to your comments and feedback and continue to look out for great awesome content i'll see you all in my next video bye guys I'll hold you close.